Hi, I'm Kaylin Thornton with Rocky Mountain Clay here with some exciting news. After a lot of hard work and testing from our clay development team, we finally have our very own speckled buff clay. It's a mid-fire clay. Uh, looking forward to seeing how it looks once it's been fired. But today, I get a chance to work with it for the first time. We're going to check out its responsiveness. We're going to see what it's like to throw with. I'm sure it's going to be great for slabs and coils as well. But specifically today, we're going to test out the wheel. All right. First reaction. Super smooth. Reacts really quickly to pressure. And that grog in there um, is a little rough. Um, so this, if you're a beginner on the wheel, this might uh, get a little painful for you. That grog, it's, it's pretty fine, uh, but it's just enough to where if you spend a lot of time centering as a beginner, um, your hand right here is going to drag on that wheel head. And that sand, that grog in the clay, is going to drag against your hand quite a bit. So I wouldn't recommend it for beginners on the wheel, but for advanced or even intermediate throwers um, who can get stuff centered pretty quickly, um, who have good control just over the uh, basics on the wheel, um, this is really nice. Super responsive. So far, I'm a fan. I'm going to make a big bowl. All right, so I've been working with this bowl that I started, uh, and because it was kind of an off day, I kind of threw a wonky bowl. Um, as you can see, uh, I overstretched it, um, and as I overstretched it, it kind of gives me an opportunity to see how uh, I can re shape this thing without the clay tearing. Um, so it was actually kind of a good thing that I'm having an off day here. Um, Cause it's kind of given me an opportunity to really push this clay to the limit. Uh, and as you can see, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure into this bowl to try to see if I can reshape it. Uh, and it's not tearing at all. Um, I'm not getting any cracks on the inside from it being overstretched or overworked. Um, I'm working at a pretty slow speed, obviously. But just from what I've been doing here, kind of re-stretching and then collaring in and then lots of pressure on the walls, um, I was able to take this bowl here then uh, was almost a lost cause and I might have been able to save this uh, and that's not a super common thing to be able to do with a lot of clay um, so I'm actually I'm pretty impressed um, just as a potter not as someone who works for Rocky Mountain Clay but uh, as a, I do my own work, you can see Mr. Teapots on Instagram. Um, personally, this is a really impressive clay. I'm surprised at how well it holds its structure.
So once your pieces have been fired to cone six, you can see the speckle come out in the clay. On the bottom of this mug, you can see the buff color. So that's what color the clay is without glaze on it once it's been fired to cone six. And on this one, you can see how the speckle has come through my glaze color. I was using Amico Celadon glazes. This might be my new favorite clay to use. It has great character, great responsiveness. It's wonderful to work with. And I recommend you pick some up at www.rockymountainclay.com.